All right. But this one, first of all, we said to write this in rectangular form, we need r sine of theta. Do we have r sine of theta? Like we actually need a physical r. No. r cosine of theta? No. Or we need r squared, and we could represent that as x and y. Correct? So since we can't do that, or since we don't have that, we could multiply everything times r. And you say, say what? Can you do that? Is that possible? We can multiply numbers, but can we multiply variables? Well, I don't know. Let's think about this. Um, well, actually, well, is it OK to multiply? It doesn't matter if r represents a number. But you guys are OK with uh, 3x minus 1 equals um, 5, right? If you multiply this, everything by 2, you get 6x minus 2 equals 10. Is the answer still the same? Right? So multiplying by a number or a variable is not going to a change, okay, this, or at least this, um, the, at least the given solution. There are some different things as far as like squaring both sides and so on and so forth. But for here, all we're simply doing now is now we get r squared equals, I'm going to, instead of multiplying by r, I'm going to put the r next to the sign. So it's easy for me to visualize that. Good, Harrison? No? Good? Okay. Oh, I didn't really pick a good one. Shoot. Oh, well. um, all right, so now what I can do is I can represent this with x squared, y squared. Here, I can represent this with 3y. And here, I can represent this with x. Now, I did not pick a very fun numbers to work with, and I apologize for that. I got to remember that. But this is technically in rectangular form. That's perfect. However, on a multiple choice test, which you guys have, it's not going to be in that format. Because does anybody know what this graph is? Do you know, anybody know what this is the graph of? You learn it in Algebra 2 and Conic Sections. We're going to learn it next chapter. That's why it's a little bit ahead. But this is actually an ellipse. So to write the equation, what you'll do is group the x variables. And then what you need to do is again, this is a little bit more advanced for those of you who remember, but then you need to complete the square. So this would be 1 divided by 2 squared, which equals 1 fourth. This would be negative 3 divided by 2 squared, which equals 9 fourths. Then what you do is you take both those values and you add that to the x. So therefore, you perform x squared plus x plus 1 fourth. Minus x. Oh, yeah, it is minus x. Thank you. And then this would be y squared minus 3y plus 9 fourths. But remember, guys, whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other, other side. So if I'm going to add 1 fourth here, I need to add 1 fourth over here. Add 1 fourth over here. That means I add 9, nine fourths over here. What did you just do 1 half? 1 half? No. I took 1. Remember, it's b divided by 2 squared. Oh, right. So then you write this as a perfect square trinomial, which is really just your middle term or your b divided by 2. So that becomes x minus 1 half squared plus y minus b divided by 2, 3 halves squared equals 10 fourths. Now, technically, to write the equation of the ellipse, this needs to be equal to 1. So I'd have to multiply both sides by 4 tenths. And actually, this looks like this is comes a circle in this. So there, as rent. Hey, I read a